Hey fellow YouTubers, welcome back to the channel, DT Model Art. Welcome back to part 9 of the McLaren M23 76 James Hunt car. And got a lot to cover today with you guys and gals. Uh, basically we finished up the engine block itself. Last time we, uh, we did the, we, I left you, the only thing I really had left to do after I did the ignition or the fuel injection wires and plug wires and all that was to install the velocity stacks. So they're on, they're in place now. They they are chromed in the kit. I decided to leave that chrome but tone it down. So what I did is I took some uh, Mission Models semi gloss clear with a paintbrush uh, and I brushed over them after I used the Tamiya. What is it? The um, panel wash here. This stuff here. This is my panel line accent color. It's more than just panel lines, guys. This stuff is great to wash parts down with. It's just fantastic stuff. Uh, I do use oils, too, uh, from time to time. You know, regular artist oils. I've got some raw umber and burnt sienna and uh, some black, lamp black that I use at times as well. But that's my go-to uh, accent. It's just easier to, to just, you know, unscrew that and just brush it on. It's great stuff. So, uh, what we're covering today in today's video is the headers. Now, I have the, the headers all glued together. What a pain these things were. Um, the instructions weren't super clear on how to do these, so I kind of went off of my own gut feeling and how they, they needed to look. And they're all glued together with the Tamiya um, extra thin cement right over the direct, directly over the plastic. Now, we're going to shoot these and the, the rear pipes that are right here. Um, that are all in just the bare plastic. They've been cleaned up. Seams eliminated as much as possible, uh, although you won't see many of the seams even if they're there because they're on the bottom of the uh, the headers, so it's not a big deal. I'm going to shoot these in the Acryl semi-gloss black, okay, right through the airbrush using a little bit of the uh, Aztec Model Master Acryl thinner. It's just a, it's a distilled water, I think, more than anything else, but whatever it is, I just, you know, I, I'm going to use that through my Infinity airbrush, and uh, we're going to set up the, uh, the, the, the table and do it right here at the table so you guys can see it getting shot on. Then I'm going to add some, some heat uh, uh, fatigue to those pipes using some Mission Models Transparent Light Rust. Phenomenal stuff, guys. You thin this stuff out with their thinner. You shoot it through the airbrush and you, you load it up in certain areas and you blast it on. I'm going to show you the technique and it leaves like these, uh, these, 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 I don't know, star marks and like you blow it around with the air and it just makes it look like natural rust. It's really phenomenal stuff. So we're going to, we're going to fatigue these, uh, headers a little bit to make them look more interesting than just a boring semi-gloss black. But speaking of semi-gloss black, um, I do have the lower suspension done on the gearbox. Now I use the Acryl semi gloss black to shoot the to do these arms. I did not airbrush them though. I did it by brush. That's the beauty with this Acryl is that this stuff here if you keep it properly thinned even in the bottle with their Aztec thinner, this stuff brushes on beautifully. So that's what I ended up doing there and the silver you see here that's picked out on the center uh, base platform here and then a little a little bit on the uh, the areas where the the heim joints would be I did with silver, just testers lacquer silver. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to clear the bench. I'm going to get the uh, the airbrush prepped up, get this prepped up in the airbrush. We're going to shoot these headers, and then I'm going to show you that in the next step of the painting process is using this transparent rust from Mission Models to give it fatigue and heat. It also gives it a flat look because this stuff not only goes on and has a rusty look, but it's flat as far as the finish, which is ideally what you want. So we're going to do that next, and then we'll come back to the bench and uh, probably glue the headers on the car and wrap this video up for today. So, And i got a few new products that I want to run through with you guys at the end of this, guys and gals at the end of this video that I'm going to be using on this car to truly make it the rain car and add braided lines and fittings with a couple companies that I'm going to use and call them out on the video as well and put links in the description below for those products when I come back to the bench and we do the headers. So let's get the headers painted first, and I'll see you in a bit.
Okay, I thought instead of throwing music to this that I would do the uh, rust part and talk you through it um, in case there was questions that maybe I can answer while I'm doing it. <clears throat> so basically what I want to do now is, I'll only put this down here, is I'm going to rust treat or stress treat all these parts. Um, and while I was at it, by the way, just so you know, I painted the wheels with the Acryl semi-gloss black too. I'll cover those later, but I got them painted at the same time. So what we're going to do now, everyone, is we're going to grab a hold of the, uh, like I had them with this pair of tweezers here. And we're going to mix up a little bit of this, of this, uh, Mission Models. It's called Transparent Light Rust. And what I'm going to do... Got it on real low air pressure. You don't need a whole lot. I, I've got it about 10, 10 to 15 PSI max. I'm going to put about 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 drops of the Mission Models thinner. And then I'm going to shake up this stuff really good. And I'm going to put about the equal drops, about 10 drops. 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 of the rust transparent rust mix it up and then shoot this and and test it you don't want this stuff to be too strong because if it's strong it's just going to give you too strong of a color you want it to have a, a, a little bit of a transparent look to it which is why it's called transparent light rust it, it gives you that look anyhow so what we're going to do now is just lightly dust these headers and what this does is it gives it that heated flat look that I'm after okay so you see here how it how it starts to give that almost like a, a, a flat sheen with a tinge of rust color in it see that and that's what you want now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit some areas a little heavier and what you what I mean by that is you take your airbrush you have to have a dual action airbrush like this to do this and we're gonna like do some pulse hits in a certain area. So like right here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit it with a pulse. Boom. See that? See what I'm doing? And then you dry it. And when you dry it, if you put too much on, don't worry. Use the air in the gun to blow it around. Oh shoot, I put too much on, see? So blow it around. And it looks strong when it's wet anyways, and then when it dries, it's got that look I'm after. I'm going to do this in a lot of the little bends and areas, just, just random, random areas. Ooh, too much there? Don't worry about it. Just blow it around. What you can do too is as you're blowing, just kind of come back on the gun pull back and you'll get some product coming out. And you're almost painting them, but there you go. Check that out. Gives you the look you want right there in front of you. I love it. So that's what I did to the, I, I'm doing to treat these headers to make them look fatigued. And that's how you do it. So I'll do the other one, come back to the video, and you'll see the finished product. Hope that helps. See you in a bit. Okay, welcome back to the bench. Without all the paper on here, everyone. Uh, I hope that that video there was uh, informative. You can use that process with you know, regular headers um, that aren't coated or black in color. Uh, the M23 just happened to have really dark colored headers, at least on the car that uh, Hunt drove in, uh, in the 70s. Um, so we're going to glue these in place. Now, remember, before you glue them, get some flat black out of your, of your choice. Paint all the flanges along here where the headers bolt to the, to the, to the actual engine because they would have been the same color as the headers themselves, black. I just did them a flat black color, and that's it. And uh, what we're going to do now, actually, I got still, one of them is a little wet still, so nothing that a little bit of uh, heat can't handle. Hit this side, too, just in case. There. 
Hair dryer is your friend for a lot of stuff. You've probably noticed in my videos. So what we're going to do now is we're going to glue these in place. We're going to use the Bob Smith Industries Instacure. Uh, I tend to find if, if uh, you know, you guys, tell me in your description if you're using this glue. I tend to find that this stuff here is better than this. But for some reason, this bottle I got here is super thin, and I don't remember it being this thin. Uh, in your description below, if you guys are using Bob Smith Industries uh, Super Glue, let me know your uh, your take. This stuff is like water, and the last bottle I got of this stuff wasn't so thin. Um, so it's really tough to use because it wants to just run all over the place on me. So I've been using this. But this doesn't seem as strong as that gold label stuff. So tell me in the description below what you guys think. Um, anyhow, also, also before I leave the video today, I sit here at my bench a lot of times with some drink, with some coffee or whatever. I don't have any today, but I use my DT Model Art cup here. If you guys want to uh, order one of these or a shirt... They will be in the description below as well. A link to them if you guys want to get them. They're they're uh, from uh, Redbubble, and uh, if you want one, I know a couple guys have gotten them already. Hope you guys like them. If you want one, description below. Sorry, my hands are a little dirty here. I, I had a blowout with the uh, airbrush when I was cleaning it that I had to kind of ran on my hands. But anyways, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to glue this in place, and I'm gonna generously load it up with with this super glue here in these holes. Because uh, I want these things to, to not move once they're in place. So we're going to put a generous amount of this, this stuff in here. And then we're going to glue the headers in. <laughs> and they just literally just fall right into place. say that and oh there we go perfect all right so there's that one I'm gonna put the other one in and then we'll take a look at it so I'm gonna load up some glue in the ends here again on these guys here by the way while we're on the on the video here everyone Merry Christmas Happy New Year's um, Hope you all have a good one. I figured I'd say it now because, you know, the timing of this video is only a couple days before the old uh, Christmas time is here. And, uh, all right. So now we're going to put this one in place. <clears throat> there she is. Nice. So. Can you all see the rust? That's the look I was after right there. It's got a little bit of a semi-gloss sheen to it, which is fine. I've seen them have a little bit of a sheen on the real car. That's good, but they have that nice patina or heat stress that I was looking for. So now what I'll do, I just want to throw the, uh, the rear diff or gearbox up to the bottom of this thing just so I can see how it's going to look. Oh, man, that's going to look so killer. So there's the whole assembly right now, everyone, of the engine so far. So um, that's that. I'm real happy with it. Oh, and I, uh, I did the, uh, the smaller pipes too, but they don't get put on yet because they have to bolt to the gearbox uh, uh, bracket in the back that with the tail of the gearbox as well. But they've all been heat stained as well, just like my hands, as you can see. <laughs> um, now, the... Uh, this is the end of this video, but I want to run through some products that you're going to be seeing in the next videos here shortly. And that is braided fittings and line. Now, Cheryl Adams at Detail Master, love her to death. Thank you very much, Cheryl, for providing me with these uh, three different sizes of hard line and combination fittings. Number two number three, and number four. So these are going to come in really handy. These are going to be coupled up with some Protec braided line. I, 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 I use Detail Master as well. You probably want to, why don't you use Detail Master's braided line? I love this stuff. And in fact, I used it for years. But this has a, a uh, 
coated wire that goes through the center. What this really is 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 uh, different sizes of ground line that you use. I've seen it in guitars, especially for ground wires. But it's got the exact braided line look that it needs. I've got the uh, 0 .025, 0 .025, .35, .45, and 060 for some of the larger stuff. This stuff was provided to me by Mr. Art Lasky from Lasky Scale Specialties. Art, thank you. It's going to come in really handy for this model. It's going to really step up the realism. Art's got great stuff. I will have the link to both websites for Detail Master and Art's website in the link below in the description below you guys can go to and shop and find some of this stuff you're going to see me using these things once i am uh i'm rolling with all the detail and braided lines especially the ones that are going to be coming off of the area behind here with the uh the oil tank and a couple other items there's gonna be braided lines they may not go anywhere but they're going to look like they do and it's going to step up the realism. When I when I add some to, to me a clear red and, and blue to those fittings that uh, Cheryl sent me, it's going to pop. It's going to be really nice. And last but not least, I want to give a shout out to Derek um, Collins, I believe, at um, Icon Automotive Miniatures. Derek, thank you very much for providing me with the tires I needed for this project to make it the accurate car that ran at Japan that year in 76 where Hunt won the race by one point because Lauda decided to quit and Hunt was out there braving it in the rain doing power slides and such. Um, if you've seen the movie Rush, it that's a pretty accurate, I believe, scene in the movie where he's just he is just going like a, a gladiator to get that race finished to try to beat Nicky Lauda in the championship that year. But that car had rain tires on it. They don't come in the kit, but uh, Derek provided these to me um, for the kit. They fit the Tamiya wheels perfectly. They're a soft resin rubber, and they come with decals um, as well for the sidewalls. All you'll have to do is just, you know, sand these little, uh, these mold uh, areas right off, where they're, probably where they're molded from the tree or whatever, off of there, and uh, clean them up a little bit. I wouldn't touch the tread because it's perfect. And then apply the decals. And I'll be showing you how I do all that in a future video here very soon, using his decals. Or I might even use the ones that came with the, uh, the decal pool set. Not sure yet, but I, I look like I might use Derek's because they're really nice and thin. I think these will work out much better. And I'll apply a gloss coat, then a dull coat to them afterwards, and then mark them up with some hand-lettered hand uh, uh, markings on the tires as well. So that is the end of the video here, but I wanted to give a shout-out to all the people that have, that have helped me out with this video, getting me the products to make this McLaren as accurate as possible based on the 76 car, and, and just give it some life, breathe some more life in it than just building it box stock. So thank you all. And thank you all for watching the video. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the like button, and hit the uh, the bell so that you're notified when I do future videos. Once again, Merry Christmas to all you. Happy New Year. Um, I hope it's going to be a good year here at the bench at DT Model Art. Uh, and uh, and uh, I, I appreciate everybody's support. So anyways, have a good Christmas, New Year's, and we'll talk to you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Oh, and one more thing I forgot. I will have Derek's uh, link to these tires below. And keep in mind, everyone, he does not accept payment on any of his tires until his the order that you have is ready to ship. Bear with him. He is working as quickly as he can. He's a, a little one-man show here, so you know don't uh, lose patience with him. He will get the tires out to you. But the beauty with his stuff is when you order it, he doesn't take your money up front. He waits until he has the tires ready, and then he'll ship them out to you. So, again, description and a link below. Take care.